Good evening, everybody. This is Wendy. It's Jan I'm sorry, February 19th, 2023. We're in the middle of a challenge. We're in the middle of challenging ourselves to um, submit to new rhythms with the Lord in order to give Him time, in order to give Him our love, our attention. And yesterday, we were talking about um, offering... Um, sacrifice on an altar and in the message that i sent everybody i was talking about leviticus 9 and how when they offered the sacrifices and the the animals were burning before the lord it so pleased the lord that he sent his fire down on the altar so they first had to offer their fire and then the lord came down with his fire and that's when the glory of the Lord filled the place and everybody was face down worshiping Jesus. And so that is the picture we want to have. We are really learning to be priests. And in Revelation 5.10, it says that we are priests and kings to our God and we shall reign on the earth. And that authority starts now. When you approach Jesus in humility you will be able to function in a greater authority as a priest and as a king. And so these priests, according to Leviticus 8, had to go through a preparation. And if they didn't go through that preparation, and there were some people that said, you know, this is too hard. We're not going to do this. We're just going to shortcut it. We're going to do it our way. Well, what happened is when they offered the fire... The Lord smelled it and he says, no, that's strange fire. That, mean, that means that the, the offerings were, were presented by priests that had not submitted to the preparation the way God uh, commanded it. And so that is such a picture for us. You know, we have to come before the Lord in his terms. We can't wing it. We can't force ourselves before God. We can't think that we can just slide in and it will be okay. If we really want the emotions of humility of Jesus over us. And that's what we were talking about yesterday too. That this is about us approaching him on his terms in humility. And what happens is that he turns around and he approaches us. And that's when everything changes, you know. And so when we feel him, his emotions, his glory. And I say the emotions of humility in Jesus's heart are the most beautiful you can encounter in the whole universe. That is superior pleasure. And that should be the vision for our lives. No blessing on earth can compare to feeling that in the Lord, in the spirit with Jesus. His emotions of humility, his humble love compares to nothing on earth. And so it says that people perish for lack of knowledge and lack of vision. And it's because you don't know what to hope for. You don't know what to dream in God for. It's it's all like blurry and you really don't know and you're, you know, like it doesn't really really sound attractive the world is more attractive because you don't know what you're missing and so when you experience just a little bit of the emotions of humility of Jesus you just want to cry out for more there is just no way that you can just be satisfied with anything else you desire that and so we need to approach him on his terms as we said and that's in humility and so when we give him time, when we sacrifice our time, and he sees that we're serious, he sees that we have hunger, and that we're going for more, I want to I wanna gift you a verse, and that's Matthew 12, 12. I'm sorry, so sorry, no, correction. Matthew 11, Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. And what it says there, it's that 
John the Baptist, like Jesus is praising John the Baptist. He just said that he's the, the greatest man ever born of a woman. And so if Jesus says so, that means that this is a lifestyle. This is a life that you actually want to pay attention to. This is not something trivial, but this is God exalting someone in such a way and saying, pay attention to the way that he lived. And, and this is uh, so great because it says here, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven allows the violent ones to come and take it all. Okay, so it's not like before. The, before John, all the prophets in the Old Testament, uh, they were selected to do a work for God. And if for any reason you wanted to become this man of the hour, prophet of God, it wasn't up to you. It was the selection and the election of God. And that was it. But he, what he's saying is now it's different. You have access, and if you want more, just come for it. And so that's what we're doing. We are expressing that hunger, and, and we're going to the Lord, and we're saying, give us everything that is ours. And so when the, the priests in the Old Testament offered the right kind of, of offering, of holocaust, and then the Lord came, and he consumed the offering with his fire and that's what we want to do we want we want him to come closer we want him to fill us we want to feel him we want to feel the emotions of humility like i don't i don't have never heard anybody use that term but i'm telling you i, I in these last two days as i said you know i the lord i've been just receiving deep things from the lord and it's mostly about how to verbalize it and how to communicate it. Because the Lord has been talking to me about humility um, since, let me see now. I must say it must have been June, June 2021. And so it's been a journey. And then understanding and feeling these things and how important they are for all of us. And it's all over scripture as you can see. This whole thing of following protocol with the priests was all about, it's not about me, it's about you. I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to, like, like that's the language of Romans 12, 1. Offer yourselves up. Surrender yourselves as holy living sacrifices unto God. Because that's the, the way you should be worshiping anyway. Right? And so it talks about an altar. It talks about an altar. And where, what, what happens at an altar? Something is killed at an altar. <laughs> the blood must be shed. A fire must be started. And guess who's going to burn? You are. And when you burn before the Lord, that's it. He comes and pours down the fire from heaven, the glory from heaven. And you will feel him. As you've never felt him before. So that's a vision for your life. Lord, I want the fire to come and consume my offering. Amen. So, Lord, I just thank you that this is the time of offering the right kind of fire before you so that you can come and touch us and fill us, anoint us, transform us, and just touch us to the very core with your humility and as we as we um get to know you and how humble you are how beautifully humble you are we are going to become humble like you and we will be those who represent you we are those going to be growing in the stature of christ and people will will get to know you through us lord so come lord fill us Fill us, Lord, for the sake of our own hearts that need to be fascinated, that need that superior pleasure of feeling your emotions of humility. But also make us, Lord, those people who are going to be vessels 
so that others can receive the humility of Jesus through us. I bless you, I love you, and I will speak to you tomorrow. God bless you greatly. Bye-bye.